the straightforward answer is that raising Fed rates will lower bond prices. The Fed has raised rates 11 times since March of 2022. We've gone from 25 basis points to 525 basis points, which is quite a difference. AAA muni yields increased from 1% in the 10-year space to 3%. From where we sit, we see investors being rewarded with higher returns in a solid, high-grade market with added attractive tax exemption benefit. Yet, it has not been basis point for basis point for munis in how we follow the treasury market. While muni yields widened by about 200 basis points, we've been quite expensive compared to treasuries on a ratio basis for some time. For example, two to five year ratios are well under the historic averages. In my opinion, one of the reasons explaining the richness of munis is the dwindling supply. So far this year, new issuance is running about 21% lower compared to the same period last year. The issuers hit the pause button, initial expecting the pivot, and now expecting the inflation to subside and perhaps yields to decline. Anecdotally, some of the projects that were online pre-COVID and have been repriced, and now they're roughly 30% more expensive. So the issuers have paused because they thought the Fed would roll rates back. That's not happening yet are now waiting to see if the Fed's aggressive tightening will overpower inflation. Again, not happening yet. The 21% decline in issuance is startling, but another surprising data point is that the overall size of the muni market has not changed much in the past decade. We were around 4 trillion in 2013, we're around 4 trillion in 2023. In contrast, the taxable bond market expanded by 46% in 10 years. Mortgage-backed securities grew by 39% during the same period. Now, I'm not arguing for abundance, some may say reckless issues by municipalities, but I'm highlighting that supply plays a role in how the tax-exempt market reacts through a rising rate environment.